So uh, Yaya, my grandmother, was left with five children in a small village called Vasa for many, many, many years while Bapu was in Australia in the cane fields. It's an old story. It's a typical story. There was a lot of civil unrest in Cyprus. So this poem is dedicated to all those women who have dealt with warlike situations and the cross-generational trauma that endures. Heavy. I can see how I carry Yaya's war in the ample dunes of my belly. The moment she smelt the guns, she pinched the candle's wick, gathered the startled shadows of her children, flung my baby mother onto her back and sprinted towards the neutral moon. That moment seeded my greed for savaged meat, for blankets of oil unfurled on potato and rice, my inheritance grew by mouthfuls. I feast on their hunger to make them proud. So does my mother. She was spared war, was given depression to carry in the nerve-threaded bowls of her thighs, arms and breasts. She reaches for the largesse of orchards, eats, eats the orange without pause, staves off memories of dead fruit harvests swallows the threat of scurvy and anemia like Mela Mugarona for morning tea. Often our dinner table is dressed to please the gods, the saints, the prophets, all who listen to the onslaught of prayers before wars, between wars and after. Deep trenches are dug into my sister's stomach to hold the children as big as Flauna. These are our uncles and aunties, who teach her to savour the drahana. With each spoonful, she incubates their eternal cravings.